The purpose of this video is to show you how to enter search patterns, search for new Skype users, select the English speaking ones that live in the USA, because then you could do any language in any country, and add them to the contact list with a custom message. Searching for new Skype users is a very simple and straightforward process. All we need to do is add or load patterns we want to search for here on the left hand side of the screen. Patterns can be any word, phrase, or even email address. If your goal is to end up with more English speaking people than anyone else, then I'd suggest you enter common English names. If your goal is to end up with more Spanish or Russian speaking people than anything else, then I'd suggest you add the more common Spanish or Russian names. In our example today, I want to target English speaking people that live in the United States. So I'm going to add the patterns David and Mary. Once I've added the patterns, all I have to do is click the search button and let Message Magic go to work for me. While it's off collecting Skype users that match the patterns we entered, let me tell you this. There is no limit to the number of search patterns that you can load from a file or even manually enter if you want to. What I'd suggest you do is load a list of dozens or even hundreds of names, press search, and then go out for dinner, perhaps even to a movie, or even go to bed and let Message Magic work while you're away. When you come back, what you'll find is that Message Magic has found you hundreds or even thousands of possible friends. Once you have that list over here in the Users window, which I also refer to as the profiling area or window, you can further select the ones you want. As you can see, we found a total of 330 people who matched our search patterns. 151 Davids and 179 Marys. Just do a right click and use the filtering options that pop up the small selections window. In this example, I want to target English-speaking people who live in the United States. So what I'd do is this. Right-click, pick the option that says More Selection Options, which will open a new little window that provides a way to zero in on the ones we want. So from the Language drop-down, we pick English either by scrolling right down to where it says English or we can press E so it quickly finds the first E in the list which happens to be English. Then we use the country drop-down box looking for United States. Again we can scroll through the entire list or we can quickly find the first country that starts with the letter U and scroll from there. Once we find and pick the one we want, we simply press OK. What you'll notice right away is this counter up at the top right. It changes to let us know how many have been selected. In this particular case, we see we'll be sending out 105 contact requests. The next thing we need to do is to manually enter a new message. or load a previously saved message. If you don't have a saved message yet, then just enter one and use the right click option to save it. And then from that point forward, it is quick and easy to load that favorite message. Here's the one I'm going to use. As you can see if you actually read it, if you can see that small in this video, it says, hey first name, 
As a Skype user, I know you want to get the most value out of using the product. If you're interested, I provide tips on how to use it most effectively. Here's one example. Did you know after you send a message you can go back and edit it? Perhaps you misspelled a word. Or even said something you shouldn't have. No worries. Just hover your mouse over the message, right click, and pick the edit message option. If you don't see that as an option, what that means is too much time has elapsed and the option is no longer available. Did you find this information useful? Just add me back as a contact and I will periodically share with you other very useful tips I have learned over the years. So as you can see, now that we've searched for some Skype users, selected the ones we want to target, entered a message in the message text window, all that's left to do is to add them to our contact list. And how we do that is dead simple. While the mouse pointer is over top the message window, we right click and pick the option that says add to contacts. That's it. What will happen is everyone who is selected will get this custom message and they will be added to our contact list. Just like this. And if you look over here on the left hand side, it'll show you the progress of each of those people as the add contact request is being sent to them. You can also look in your Skype to see all the new contacts that you have. Managing those contacts, meaning what to do and when to do it with those new people that you just added, is the subject of another training video. Well, that's it for this topic. You now know how to search for, select, and add new contacts with the custom message of your choice, all done quickly and easily using Message Magic. Until next video, I bid you adieu.